Welcome everyone to today's Blum Center Spotlight on the Quiet Room. Today we are going to be learning more about the Quiet Room located in Dana Farber's Chestnut Hill location. This session will be led by Sarah Harbo, an interfaith chaplain in the Center for Spiritual Care at Dana Farber. This program is hosted by the Blum Resource Center. Over at the Blum, we are grateful to the Center for Spiritual Care for this continued partnership. If you have any other questions or would like more information about resources and programs offered through the Blum, please visit our website, www.dana-farber.org slash resource center, or email us at blum underscore center at dfci.harvard.edu. Thank you all for watching. I will now pass the workshop over to Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. Yeah, I'm very excited to be talking about the quiet room at Chestnut Hill today. Um, this is a space that has been in the works uh, since Chestnut Hill campus was uh, begun to be built and it recently opened. So there's a lot of buzz and excitement about folks getting to use the space now. And I'd love to just introduce it and let folks know a little bit more about it so they can keep an eye out for it when on campus here at Chestnut Hill. So first and foremost, where do you find the quiet room? It's located on the hall that leads to the dining pavilion uh, at Chestnut Hill campus on the third floor. Um, if a room number is helpful, it's at CH3003. And inside is a quiet seating area that is a space with the intention of being a tranquil, resting, restorative space for patients and families on campus. Um, so in the quiet room, you can find places to sit, to gather your thoughts, take some quiet time for yourself. Um, and there's spiritual resources available like candles, greenery, um, self-care reminder cards, there's sacred texts and prayer instruments like rosary and a prayer rug available. Also in the quiet room, there's a security intercom that was recently installed. Uh, and that's available for folks to use should you need to quickly ask for some assistance or help while you're using the space. I mentioned that the quiet room is a tranquil space on campus and the intention and the purpose behind the space is that it's meant for patients, families, even staff members um, to use the area for rest and renewal while you're on campus. It's intentionally quiet uh, for anyone who needs a moment to themselves, you might go to the quiet room to gather your thoughts for prayer, to find some comfort in solitude, having a moment alone in the midst of a busy schedule day, rest, enjoy the art installment in the quiet room, or find your center in whatever way is most comfortable and meaningful to you. Uh, the process of establishing the quiet room, like I said, it it was part of the plans for Chestnut Hill campus uh, since the beginning of the campus's construction. Um, and it's included so many teams who have been involved in making the space and helping it come to life and come to realization. Um, that includes the building man management here at Chestnut Hill, the security and patient safety team, Center for Spiritual Care, patient care services, patient programs, supportive resources, and more. And all these folks have been involved at different times and um, in different capacities uh, to help prepare the space to be um, a resource for hospitality, comfort, and care for patients and families here on campus. The quiet room is open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. on weekdays, and it's uh, available for you to go in and use um, whenever you like and, and however is meaningful to you. So I'm excited to announce that it had just opened at, um, towards the end of December last year uh, and will remain open weekdays 7 to 7 for patients, families, all folks to use whenever, whenever and however you might need. So thank you for, for listening to the information. I'm excited to maybe see you there. Uh, as Sierra introduced, I'm Sarah Harbaugh, the chaplain for um, Chestnut Hill Campus. So if there's ever a time in the quiet room, you might be looking for a spiritual care resource, you can find my information there as well. I'd be happy to connect and continue spiritual care on campus or off. Thanks, Sierra. 
Thanks so much, Sarah, for that informative spotlight on The Quiet Room. I know that I look forward to checking it out, as I hope all of you do. Um, please keep an eye out for spotlights on the Blum YouTube playlist and Blum Digital Resource Center. Thank you all for joining us. Thank you.